Next up, we've got Syracuse traveling down to North Carolina, the Tar Heel country. How about this? Mac Brown took a 2-9 and nine team and went 7-6 and six with a freshman quarterback last year. If you look at what Syracuse has, not much. Five on offense, four on defense returning. But North Carolina has 10 offensive players returning. That's huge in six defense. And if you look at the way that they've recruited the last two years, it's been outstanding. One of the best recruiters in the ACC. Look at the way that Syracuse got beat by them last year by 33 points. Now you're traveling on the road going down to UNC. I love the Tar Heels in this game. They're a 22-and-a-half point favorite. I don't think Syracuse is going to be able to handle this football team on offense, defense, or special teams. I don't think it's close. Plus, Syracuse missed a lot of practices this year due to COVID. I'm going with the North Carolina Tar Heels in this game to win big, 44 to 17. Well, you realize that last year in North Carolina had three games where they scored over 50 points. They averaged well over 33 points a game. What was the difference? The quarterback, Sam Harrell, a true freshman. Now, here's mm -hmm. the amazing thing, and I didn't realize, Mark, he was committed to Florida State. Yeah. Mac Brown went in there, convinced him to change his mind, come to North Carolina, started as a freshman, and they have a running back who was a freshman last year who's also an outstanding athlete, very, very productive. Their offensive line's back. You mentioned that. And defensively, I don't think they get enough credit. Uh, I think the defense coordinator, Jay Bateman, used to be at West Point, did a great job there, came to North Carolina last year, and they uh, were 105 in total defense last year. They were 46 in the country in total defense. They'll do nothing but get better as they go along. I look, and let's remember this also. North Carolina lost to Clemson 21-20, to and I think it's when they went for two and did not make it. So they're a very talented football team. He has a great staff. Mac Brown has some outstanding assistant coaches there and do a great job. I look for this football game not to be very close. I think it's going to be 45-10. to 10. Syracuse has an awful lot of problems. They uh, fell back to a disappointing year last year. Plus, they lost the outstanding quarterback and also could run. And De DeVito, their quarterback, he's a very proficient passer, but he doesn't have very good mobility. He doesn't have an awful lot going with him. And defensively, they have an awful lot of flaws. 